We just got back from grocery shopping. This is actually going to be my March grocery shopping trip. We normally go grocery shopping once every three weeks and we have zero food waste. So today I bought all of these groceries. There's some more over on the counter and I put some in the freezer already and I spent $274. This will be what we'll be eating for the next couple weeks, including on a trip and car snacks and all those kind of things. So we're not stopping at the gas stations buying extra snacks. We have what we need here. When I'm going grocery shopping, I try to think ahead. So we're getting ready to go into March and I got pastrami from the deli and Ryback bread that I'm going to be putting in the freezer. I bought cabbage to make sauerkraut, which I'll make in the couple, next couple days and then it'll be perfect by um, St. Patrick's Day. So thinking about some of those holiday traditions and what you can purchase ahead of time and not be running to the store later is a great um, hack to think about. And also it helps mix up your grocery shopping meal planning. So we know that we'll have this at least for a meal or two in March and it's something different that we only have um, this time of year. These oranges are from December and we are going to continue to eat them up throughout March. So when you're buying things harvest season to harvest season and thinking about how long items will last, it's perfectly fine to get things that are in season and keep them in your own fridge instead of the grocery store's fridge. I picked up a medium cheddar for the refrigerator and one for the freezer. So I always make sure that we have at least one extra block in the freezer and I can use it to shred it up and keep it for later or it freezes, it defrosts easily for um, slices too. So medium cheddar works a lot better than getting sharp cheddar. I actually have some mozzarella that's still in the refrigerator that was shredded from Christmas. Um, and we are talking about March now. Occasionally I will buy <laughs> Tater tots instead of getting any kind of other kind of potato product like french fries but the tater tots I can use multiple different ways for different recipes from breakfast casseroles to like a tater tot casserole with hamburger or just using it as a side so um, they're way more versatile than just getting french fries. This is one of my favorite breads at Costco. I love it that it's shelf stable and it'll normally stay on your shelf for like four to six months without going bad. There's only a couple items in it, so it just makes it perfect. It's shelf stable. We don't run to the grocery store when we want French bread. It just makes everything perfect. I teach all of these skills how I use $135 to buy fresh, wholesome food for our family and keep everything underneath the budget in our grocery course called The Grocery Solution and it's available on thecrosslegacy.com.